Alright guys, just doing a little tuning on the OS Speed, Adam Drake, B21. Got a three shoe clutch, Max Life, with the uh, 41031 and the 9886. <laughs> got guys is uh, uh very little daylight <laughs> very little daylight because i'm working a lot guys so this is all you're really going to get we're not going to get her dirty bad I think my tank lid the uh, the grommet on the tank lid is going bad so I think it's maybe sucking a little bit of air. Huh? I said, I want to come up and play too. Okay, come on.
right there, guys, is a single stage idle. We need to get some fuel. Little Richard and I would like on top. But that's a single stage idle. That's what you want, people, right there. Yeah, it's a good idle when it drops, you know, from zero to ten seconds or whatever it is. But from what I've understood in my research through some people I've been talking to, what you really want is a single stage idle where it drops immediately. We're a little bit too rich on top though. See how it drops immediately, people? Drops immediately. Rip a little more before the sun goes down. Yeah, that's a conservative tune right there. That's a conservative tune, people. It's not too lean, a little bit rich on top. A little too rich for my blood. It still rips pretty good. Just bump her up just a little bit. better. Now I may sacrifice a little bit of my single stage tune. But she's dropping pretty quick though. She's scooting. A little too much. Let's bring it down, Chad. We'll keep this one a little bit conservative. like that drop immediately from rip to quit
Guys, y'all are probably not going to be able to see very much more. She's badass, but I am willing to sell her. Anybody interested? Three hundred dollars. It's got just a little more than a gallon. I'd say about a gallon and a half in it. I haven't really run it that much. Maybe a couple of times since I bought it. When I bought it, the guy said it had about a gallon. He said it had less than a gallon. But I put a gallon on it just to say, you know, I don't ever believe what people tell me unless I know them really well. I knew this guy well, you know, a hobby shop, but I'll say maybe a gallon and a half, a little more than a gallon and a half, less than two gallons. It's badass. It's just that I wanna I wanna sell this Drake and I wanna put my money into some other stuff some other motors and pipes so I'm gonna start I'm gonna modify that Rex legend here I may keep that Rex legend legend stock and just buy one already modded from uh, Rick I don't know if Lance does that but I'll look into it I definitely want one modded engine in my uh, arsenal and uh, let's go look real quick at some stuff in the barn <laughs> always set your bottom dead center I love that sky RC switch all right let's go take a look in the barn before I run out of time people show y'all what I got going on let's take this with us I think I still got a few minutes I think y'all will be happy with some of the stuff that I'm doing in here um, I'm working some extra hours this week trying to make some extra money um, my wife's business slows down about right now, so, you know, I try to work a little extra to take care of her when I can, and, uh, yeah, we got about four or five minutes, guys, so I work a little extra to try and take care of her when I can, y'all can tight while I get you out here, okay, Bam. and, um, but I also work extra so I can, uh, so I can do some next level stuff. Y'all still there? All right, so I work extra so I can buy some next level stuff. It just happens to be still really busy uh, at work, so I'm gonna take advantage of it, take care of my wife, try to supplement her from her loss of income in the winter. Uh, it gets really hard in the winter, people, but uh, I can make up for that and I can make some extra money to work on my whip. So I've got the uh, Techno Center Diff coming. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start getting this girl back together. Y'all can see right there, it looks like, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it looks like someone had run the screw through the side of the diff cup. 
and I think that was the issue. I think it was pushing out on the gears, and uh, it was causing it to lock up. Because I get everything perfect in there and get it screwed in. I noticed that one screw would go in a little lopsided every time. But then when I would try and tighten it down, straighten it up, it would lock everything up. And these are all the gears that came out of it. So, And it was turning before, but it wasn't right. So we got everything broke down. I'm going to take apart the front and rear differentials. And we're going to start getting the MBX5 set up. We're going to use the Spectrum uh, voltage protector in here. And I have these two servos, but I went ahead and just bought two uh, Savox high voltage servos. Uh, they're not the blacks. They're they're the budget high voltage servos. Um, I can't really afford right now to spend a lot of money on the MBX5, but we're gonna spend what we need to to get her up and running. So we'll still go with some quality Savox servos, some high voltage servos, just not the blacks or the Ryan Cavalleries. I'm gonna buy those Ryan Cavalleries for the 8T. I'll probably do that next month or something. Let me get caught up a little bit here. And uh, we'll see about selling the... Uh, if, for serious, man, if anybody's interested in that OS, Adam Drake. It's a badass motor. You saw it right there. Uh, 300 bucks, you know, or shoot me an offer. Uh, I want to buy another nitro engine that's already modded. So I don't have to send it and go through the process and all that. Um, and... I either want another Rex Legend modded or I want the LRP.32 modded. But I'd like to hold on to this stock. Uh, if y'all remember, I did my four heat cycles in two break-in tanks before somebody convinced me to pull it out and get it, uh, get it modded. Um, I mean, he didn't convince me. I was thinking about it anyway. But, uh, yeah. And also, guys, if you guys scroll back through my videos, see if I have enough time here. I'm probably going to run out of time, but if you scroll back in my videos, a lot of my videos have 350, 400, and you know, that guy, he was talking about uh, his four people that are on his permanent shit list. I really don't give an F, man. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, the guy is super entertaining. It, it makes me chuckle a little bit. Uh, he, he's definitely going to grow to be a, an angry little old man. He's already a little old man. But, you know, you scroll back in my videos, and sometimes it takes a little bit for them to get caught up. But I've got some videos, you know, 230, 228, 193, 247, 201. He said the only videos that, I, that I'm assuming he's talking about me because he hates my guts. Uh, the only videos that I have more views than my subscribers are videos that have his name in it. And that's not true, people. 234, 230, uh, 283, uh, 378, 207, 232. A lot of them between two and 300. Uh, I've got 311 there, 228, 356, 220, 220. Uh, I got one in here that's in excess of uh, 600 views, 600 something views. Here's a uh, uh, there's one for 69. I wonder where that counts in the process. What about that, Muggy? What about 69? Does that count? Uh, 494. Uh, Grant, some of these are pretty far back. Uh, here's one, Hyper 7 Nova Rossi, 658. 658 views. I don't see the Muggy's name in there anywhere. It just takes my people to, to dial in a little bit longer than his because he's got a, a niche of people that... Uh, and where are we at? At 19. Yeah, we're going to run out of time. He's got a certain niche, people. I spread out amongst electric and all kinds of stuff. So I support them. They support me. But as far as I'm concerned, guys, fuck the muggy. Fuck that dude, man. I have never gone that far, but fuck the muggy. Remember, people, treat people the way you want to be treated. We'll see you all later.